Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in the last video we saw how to uh, delete and add uh, rows inside a repeater. And now to complete actually how to use uh, the repeaters and how to manage tables for example, uh, I want to show you how to uh, create a perfectly working pagination. So as usual if you're interested Subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment, and that said, let's get started. And here we are inside Azure. So uh, this video will be super quick and uh, what I suggest is that if you didn't see the previous video regarding the how to delete and add rows to a repeater, make sure to take a look at it because it's really important and the two things are really uh, merged together. So it's really important to have all the notions uh, to, to get real good tables. So. Uh, what I'm going to show you is just how to basically uh, use this pagination inside Axure and to make it perfectly working as it should be. So let's see, uh, here what we have, uh, we, we have actually this table and uh, as we can see we have like uh, 30 uh, items inside. So not everything is filled out but doesn't matter. Okay, so we have three pages three pages because if we go in the style and if we see in the pagination here we have multiple pages and we have 10 items per page and we will start from the first page obviously and so basically since we have 30 items we will have three pages that's actually simple first things is to basically change the number of these items. So this is actually a simple input field. Uh, as you can see, it's a text field that I'm going to actually to rename it as a text field uh, page number. Okay. And uh, in interaction pane, what I want to do is to add a new interaction on loaded. On loaded, I want uh, that this should show the number of the pages in which the table is, right? So on loaded, uh, set text of this widget uh, equal to, and here is the trick. So we are going to insert a variable or function and under the repeater section uh, here, it's page index, page index, okay? So it's uh, basically the, the, the page in which uh, the repeater is, right? As you can see here, Axure puts a local variable. It means that we have to create a local variable and the local variable will be the table. So now I create my local variable, table, and will be the widget table. I search for it, table, that's it. So now what we have to do is to select actually the arrows. What we have to do on click on the click event is to add a new action. It is again set text. And we have to uh, search for this input field that was called uh, uh, again, yeah, text field page number. So I'm going to select my text field page number. And here in the function, uh, variable and function, what I'm going to do is to set super simple, the page index. And again, we will do what? We will just replace the local variable with a new variable that is table and uh, the local variable table that is the widget table. <laughs> table, so again, remember is the repeater, okay. And, and, and actually we copy this, we put it on the left arrow, we paste it, oops, again we have to put it in the first case, we delete this one, okay, and what we have to do, it's actually this, it's, it's finished, that's it, 
let's go in preview to see how it looks like. We see that we have 30 items, you see, it's counted, yeah. And if I click on the right arrow, you see, haha, <laughs> the number is updated, you see? And if I go back, same thing, right? Haha, <laughs> that's interesting, right? So if you didn't see the uh, previous video, so I will show you how to actually have this uh, number, it is the page count, and this number, it is total item count. And actually it's, it's quite simple. So we have to select this widget, so the off X. And as you can see here, here on loaded, we have set text of this widget with what? With off, that is out of the parentheses, so that it's always uh, the same string of text. And we have a local variable that is called pagination. And we have a function that is page count. And you can find this under the repeaters. You see page count. And for the other one is the item count. You see here? So in fact, if I select now the total item count and I see here set text, we have value. And in the variable of function, what we have is total items and we have table dot item counts where the table is again the widget table. That's easy, easy, easy. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put like a comment and see you in the next video. Bye.